my music is free. Yo, bees and some ass on me. They say I gotta fuck my way up as if I wasn't enough. My music is me. And knocking hustles down, but I'm worth more than a bust. They see me grinding all the time and now they calling it luck. My music is a journal. It's a way of living. So ain't no fan behavior when you know that you'll be someone greater. Yeah, your bitch don't know me now, but she gon' know me later. And the haters asking how I remember why you hating. But I won't keep you waiting. You'll get the pictures I'm painting. Melly is like an alter ego to me. That's not my real name, you know, but that's who I embody. Even in one of my songs, like I say, I vouch that I'm a bad bitch. Yeah, I live up to my status because in general, my music is for bad bitches. To be a part of Harlem, it's a blessing, you know? To me, it's like, yeah, I'm from Harlem. Oh, they out here. So this is the bodega on the block. I used to get my butter and jelly sound. Cause you know, sometimes you ain't have it like that, but and it was still hitting. My family life, it was good, you know, growing up, you think, oh, my life is worse. Like I said, you're in Harlem. Everybody's, you know, got the little new fresh kicks, the, the whole pinta on, and then it's just like, when you don't have it like that, sometimes it's like, you feel, you know, you feel intimidated. Can't fool me. My mom ended up putting me in this school, which is PS197. And this is where I got corrupted and just like started rapping <laughs> with my friends and getting light and just clunking and stuff. You annoyed? You know, this is where I went through my little, you know, bullying and just defending myself, knowing how to, you know, cut back at people. I was this free spirit, but then I was lost at the same time, and it was like, oh, I feel ashamed of myself. I wasn't graduating with my class. Things that I wouldn't express, I would write in my journal. That helped me develop a love for poetry. I just started writing. I just started singing more, and that's what I fell in love with. Me being in the studios was affecting high school. So I dropped out when I was 18. I talked to my mom, I'm like, listen, I'm gonna go hard in this. I'm gonna do what I have to do to make it. Wait, can you run it back? Let me catch you. Yo. Yo. What people would say behind closed doors, I say in public. I didn't care to say things that were vulgar because if that's the way I felt at the moment, and still to this day, I'm going to say it. I'm such a person who mood swings so much that my music is exactly like that. I love to go wild, and then I love to just tone down. But when it comes to me actually delivering a message, I try to tell you my experience. Even though I'm talking about being bullied, I'm also encouraging others to help. Everywhere you're going, you're evolving, you're getting better. So don't let one situation get you stuck to a point where you feel like you have to wipe yourself out. That was my message in Pretty Girls because I wanted to wipe myself out. But because of my supporters, because of Melly Mob, yeah. thank you. I understand my purpose. Where are you? Hi. <laughs> they remind me every day. And I go on my DMs, and somebody's telling me how I help them. It took me a while to love myself, but now that I do, I plan to love myself with all my heart. So when it comes to expressing myself, I don't want to hold back ever.